cat. Wow, my my cat. <laughs> my cat calling me. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, your cat also is your children, right? Your and your cat also can be your children. Your pet also can be children. I have a dog, you know, at home. And uh, I have a golden retriever, and you know how golden retriever are. They are so so manja. So they also like are part of our family and also part of our kids, yeah. <laughs> like our children. They give us a lot of uh, joyfulness and also yes. care, uh, love and care. Because when you have a pet, you really need to train yourself to improve your caring and also the love. Uh, because pets, they don't know how to explain. You've got to really put in your love and the care. Mm. Not only can communicate with them, isn't it? So that's why my yeah. people tell me, hey, how come you can understand uh, what your, your cat is talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. The team. So I'm I'm sure you have prepared. Wow, your, your balancing. Uh, oh, I'm so admired. Yeah. And your balancing <laughs> career and also family is always my, uh, you are my role model, you know. So let me learn a lot from you. And a lot of things I really admire you. And also I really feel you are a, a, a model for a woman mm. to, to learn and also to, uh, uh, as a mentor for, for us here to understand how to multitask. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you joanne thank you for all your kind compliments yeah it's not easy i have uh, four grown-up children now and uh, when i first started my family i my first child especially uh, my son i was only 26 years old wow. so uh, being a young family you know um, over the course of 10 years i have four children and um, to me thinking back about uh, what i've gone through as a mother and how I brought up my children, it was a lot of uh, joyful moments for me, uh, basically, because uh, I actually spent a lot of time with them between work and also uh, family time. Uh, quality time, you know, is very important. And uh, I make sure that I spend enough quality time with my children as they grow up. So this is one of my sharing today, uh, how, we, how, how I do it, you know. Because sometimes you look back at yourself and say, how do I do it? I managed to raise these four, four children, right? So it's already an amazing journey. And it's a, it's a journey that I'm very, very proud of as well. Yeah, this is a wonderful. Yeah, yeah. so let, uh, let's uh, share more. Tadeem. Let's share yeah. more of uh, how you manage uh, this career and your family. Let's share more to us. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm happy to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> You are not only a good mother, good wife, you are also a good chef. Wow, you are also an entrepreneur, <laughs> you know. Wow. Yeah. You are also so successful in this beauty uh, uh, industry. Wow, you are really <laughs> making me <feel> so amazing. <laughs> what an amazing woman. Yeah, I'm so honored today I can be uh, knowing you and then can yeah. learn a lot from you. <laughs> yeah. My passion in cooking, I'm very good at cooking actually. Uh, my passion in cooking started uh, when I was young where I see my mom, because my mom is a Nyonya Baba and she cooks a lot, right? Back home, at home. And uh, from there, we, we, I'm very blessed because I managed to learn a lot of all the cooking recipe from my mom, you know? And she herself is a very, very good cook. As I mentioned in my previous sharing, you know, I come from a very big family. I have a family of 12, right? 12, uh, 11 siblings plus me, 12 of us. And uh, because we have big family, uh, we grew up very close-knitted as well. So all this comes from our growing up, you know, our environment as well. And my mother always loved to cook nice food for us to eat, you know. So that's why I'm also very blessed that I can learn from her recipe, you know, her traditional recipe, and I kept it with me. And uh, when I got married, I also cooked for my kids, you know, all the wonderful Nyonya food, you know, uh, Malay food, Chinese food, Western food, you know. As we grow, as we grow in our in our family, we learn, you know, this is the process for us as well. So we learn how to cook for the family, you know. And also uh, to make sure that uh, we, uh, for me, what, what is most important thing is actually to spend time with them, to do sports activities with my children. 
that was one of my priority as well when they were growing up. So every weekend, for sure, I will not miss any kind of sports activity they are involved. So when they play, I also play with them, you know, I also get involved. So this is how we build our bonding with our kids and also um, how we get so close knitted at the same time. Yeah, so we become like good friends, you know, because my family also, we, they, all, they, all, they all grow up to be very competitive in a way in sports. So, uh, in a way, my kids also become very competitive in sports. So, that's how we get ourselves very much. Any game that we do, we are competing each other, you know. So, that's how we groom our kids to become more independent, you see, at the same time. So, very <laughs> encouraging, yeah. uh, to really yeah. make, thing, make things to be uh, uh, even better, isn't it? Better, exciting for them, you know. Uh, not monotonous, you know. Everything is about... Uh, learning skills, you know, how to learn your skills, you know, how to become a better person, you know, how to how to think for yourself, you know, and things like that. Lah. Yeah. Oh, but then I just wonder, when when you uh young during young time you have your uh these uh, four four children, uh, so that time you are full time housewife or you are housewife from uh, working? No. I was uh, I was running a business when I had my, my children as well. I was running a, a, a event company actually. Yeah, I did a lot of event. I also have a modeling agency. I have an event. I'm running a boutique as well. You know, so I was in entrepreneurship at that time, oh. and also I was very much involved. I played a lot of golf. You know, I was very very involved with golf activities wow. as well, and also a lot of outdoor activities like like. I bring my children to go diving, to do uh, sea sports, you know, like water skis, uh, to do mountain climbing, you know, and then to play golf, to play bowling, yeah, and then to do cycling. So every weekend without fail, Saturday and Sunday is all about sports activities with my kids. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Interesting, huh? But then maybe you can mm. give us uh, more tips on how, how you balance it I mean, during the day, uh, a weekday, you will be like uh, uh, more committed to your career. And then during yes. the weekend only, then you will give uh, uh, more time to your children. Mm. Is it this way? Maybe you can give us yep. more tips on how you balance it. Yeah, I think it's important like during the day when the kids go, go to school, right? So we don't need to spend so much time with them. So by the time they come back from school, it's already like, uh, one o'clock lunch you know so I will go home and have lunch with them so after having lunch with them then they will go for their extra curriculum in schools either in school or they have their tuition so by the time they finish all their extra curriculum that will be about five o'clock so they come back they shower and all that I make sure I go home by six o'clock and then I will spend quality time then the whole evening. From 6 o'clock, then we have dinner time, 7 o'clock, 7, 7.30 in the evening. I make sure that every evening we will have dinner with them. And then after that, and I remember when my kids were very young, even like a few months, uh, nine months old, one year old, I read to them every night. What? Yeah, I make a habit to read to them every night before they go to sleep, you know. So while reading, you know, we, we create that bond and I would tell all sorts of stories to them, make them laugh, you know, and all that. So that was my really ritual, routine ritual with my kids when they were young. Oh, yeah, so, so that's how I break my time. Now. So it's all about time management, now, as they said, you know. Mm -hmm. If you know how to manage your time well, yeah, then it's easier that way. Like if in case, like, um, I also make sure that my kids have a lot of activities that they are involved with. Uh, for example, um, I have very, I'm blessed with very good neighbors, like basically. We also blessed with good neighbors. So we have neighbors that are around the same age with my kids as well. So there are times that they go over and play with their friends, their house, or the kids will come over to our house and play, you know. So I always prefer that my kids, I, my kids invite their friends to come to my house. All right, basically, basically it's because I also can watch how, you know watch what they're doing and what they're playing you know what are their activities like so by inviting friends uh, children to our house we also build a bond so i also make sure that i cook something for their friends you know so they enjoy the food as well you know so that's how the kids grow up to be very 
uh, very uh, outdoor, very friendly, you know, easy to mix around with people. Networking to them is not a problem, you know, they can talk to anybody, even adults or anyone as well, you know. They build that confidence over time as well. Wow. Yeah, so that's how I do. So it's a very, um, how you call that, the time is constantly moving, like basically constantly having activities, activities, non-stop. <laughs> Non-stop, really non-stop, Anya. But I enjoy it because I'm the type of person that I love to do activities. I cannot sit down and sit still or watch TV for one hour. I cannot do that, you know. For me, it's like always on the move. I like that. I enjoy that. And I cultivate that habit for my children as well. They always have full activities. So because to me, activities also help you to... Um, to create your, uh, to activate your mind, right? Your brain and your mind, you know, whatever things you do, you always keep thinking, you know? So that's way how you can build a character of a person as well, you see. Wow, mm. that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. Mm. How nice. How nice, yeah. you see. Mm. Uh, that's why a mother is really play a very important role. Uh, yeah. When uh, uh, bringing up a children, I think woman, mm. Is always uh in my uh Buddhism study, it always tell us that woman is like a son, <laughs> it's like a son <laughs> in a family. So if a woman, there can be a positive or also a very uh, wisdom, you know. So it can be making the family, the children, the husband, you know, the whole family will become mm. like sunny and also yeah. uh, is happy, you know. So that's why I always remember, uh, we as a woman, we are we are actually having a very important role <laughs> to uh, contribute yeah. to our family. Yeah. Huh? So from right, that right. ability, yeah. you are really a son. <laughs> <laughs> a son yeah. uh, in your family and shine everybody, you know. Yeah. Everybody to be uh, so great, you know. So mm. I, and I'm sure uh, with a support, from an uh, understanding husband is also play a very important role so that uh, we can really balance our family and also our career. Do you agree, Datin? Yes, definitely. Yeah, that, that, that's for sure. Yeah, because without a supporting spouse uh, to help us to raise a family, so it's also very challenging. So I'm also very blessed that I have a very open-minded, very supportive husband who live all the uh, sort of all the tasks or responsibility to me you know it's for me to decide what to do and all that and my, I'm happy to do that you know because otherwise uh, it will be also a challenge so whatever activities we do together my husband is also uh, come in and support us and also join us you know sometimes when he's free and all that so that makes a lot of difference with a supportive uh, husband uh, who believe and uh, who have full confidence of uh, allowing us to do, you know, uh, all the activities with the children as well. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think, I'm, I think you, you have prepared something uh, uh, to share, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah correct. Um, I have uh, prepared a bit of slides, um, a little bit to brief, uh, uh, to share a little bit how do we balance between career and family right so uh, maybe we can go to the next slide joanne okay all right um next slide yes this this uh, view of life uh, is very important i always uh, use this as a assessment so it's a true assessment for ourselves to see how how balanced are we between our work life so, for example, because in our life, we have so many quadrum, right? So, we have personal and social, you know, where we have also to look after. It's very important to have personal and social because this is the thing that is your me time, right? Uh, being Even though we are how busy we are, it's very important that we must have some me time for ourselves, you know, to distress and uh, to, to motivate ourselves. So uh, by having that, um, then you, you, you will also be a happier person, basically. Then uh, personal and social, which is very important. It means you must have social life as well with your own friends, you know. Uh, not just, just staying home and just being with the kids, all right. It's important to have a social life because that's where you have a lot of good social interaction with your friends and you learn from each other, you boost each other's moral and you motivate each other, these are uh, important factors as well. 
then work and career of course uh, a lot of working mothers these days out there uh, important to also up upkeep their work and so their career you know their career how do how do they manage it and all that then of course there is family you know and then spiritual is also very important i believe because everyone believe in their own religion and a spiritual will always keep us grounded all the time and then of course financial financial is one of the most uh, important factor like you know how financially stable you are uh, mind and intellect you know mind uh, your mind you know uh, and then you we probably need to read a lot of things you know to know what is the latest things happening in this world and all that and uh, physical and health, yeah, this is one of my top priority, which I, I'm, I'm always uh, very, very much involved. To me, uh, to me, exercise, outdoor activity is very important to keep my energy up, right? So this condrum, this seven condrum is very important. Uh, so as you, as you uh, journey your life, you basically has to check yourself, which are your weak points, which are your weakness. And which are your strength as well, yeah. So these these are the things that we can assess our own 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 ability, lah. Basically, yeah. yeah. Very good. Mm. Very good tips, this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, the next one, right? What is work life balance? Okay, I just divide into three session. Uh, work life balance. Uh, why is it good, right? I think basically finding a work life balance, uh, is uh, means you likely to feel. Uh, uh, less uh, less stress and tired for yourself, especially for yourself, and uh, you're more in control of your time. Like I mentioned earlier, time management is very important. So if you know how to schedule a good time management, then you will feel less stress, and also uh, it's also you are able to make better decisions and commitments as well because you have your plan, right? So once you have your plan, your schedule. You know when to make decision, when is the right time to do this and do that. And also, uh, you feel more healthier because you divide your time to every activities that you need to do, right? I mean, maybe you can allow yourself, okay, one hour I'm going to do a, a physical activities. With that one hour physical, it already helps us a lot in to boost our own energy as well, right? So, this is that's why it's good for you to have that and also good for the children. For example, right, uh, we will have to develop uh, and, and learn and at the same time to allow the children to develop and learn uh, that uh, you know a uh, peaceful a uh, family uh, where mother is there to spend time with them they will feel the warm they will feel the loving they will feel the attention and they will feel that they have spent quality time with us at the same time so quality time is when we are physically and emotionally present with our children. That is important. So a work-life balance can help us make this time with our children as well. So we need to spend a bit of time with the children. It's very important. Nowadays, a lot of working mothers are so busy, they neglect that. You know, They don't have that much time with the kids because I think especially in a cat race kind of, uh, you know, uh, rat race kind of a society this day, you know, the kids get up early, 5.30 in the morning, go to school, come back, by the time they do their curriculum, 6, 7 o'clock, they come back, but the parents will come back about 8, 9 o'clock because of all the traffic jam, you know, and all that. So by the time their kids come back at night, they don't have much time to spend with the kids. So that is the disadvantage and that will not be a very good uh, positive uh, upbringing for the kids. So important that we must spend enough time with the kids, like allow that time, like, yeah. And also, I think uh, it's also good for relationship because spending quality time together is like a building block, right, for all relationship. So a good working life balance uh, will give us the time and energy to develop better relationship with our children and also with our partner. Yeah, right. Yeah, so it's a very good tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, okay. The yeah. uh, second yeah. one. Yeah. We can, uh, I really learned something today on this. Uh, how to uh, balance a work life, and family and children. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so um, the sec. okay. So uh, basically, I think this is one of the sample. You can you can Google it and you can download it and you can print it out. You know, 
probably like every every once or twice a year, you know, take it out there, you know, and this life view assessment, you assess where, where you actually stand in your life. Then you know whether your life is balanced or not, right? So when you give yourself assessment, uh, number one to ten, and you see where is your where where do you stand uh, basically? So I think this is a very good tool to assess yeah. ourselves basically. Yeah, it's yeah. Very good. Wow, download. Yeah. You can download. You can download in uh, yeah in Google it and download it and then print it out. That's what I do. You know, yeah. at least every six months I will print it out and then I will assess myself. Okay, where am I lacking? What I what what are the imbalance in my life right now yeah so that way you can know your 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 focus yeah your focus where to where to improve like, your your area in your life okay this is very good fantastic okay <laughs> right okay that's uh, that's my sharing today yeah i hope you can uh, yeah you can take back some good tips from it yeah so interesting yeah it's very good <laughs> Oh, now I know there is a evaluation chart as yeah. well. Yeah. Actually, Joanne, you can play this as your, um, you know, with your team, you know, when you ever, uh, it's an icebreaker, in a way, it's like an icebreaker. So every time you have a, a, a training, you know, and all that, you know, you can print this out and give it to every participants and get them to do this assessment. Yeah, it's very interesting because you'd be surprised they, are, they have different, different graphs, you know, then people will, come to realize how where well are the areas they are lacking basically yeah. then they can improve from there yeah. yeah and this is something like the self-examination huh yes yes correct yeah you go through it you know and then you know yourself better wow good, <laughs> mm, good, good. <laughs> i love it yeah. okay mm. so after listen to that in wow all uh, uh, interesting uh, tips and also the thing journey on how you can have a multitask. So for me, actually, Tatin, uh, for me, I am, um, I, I am so called. I'm, maybe I'm not the multitask person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I just happen to be. I'm so lucky, and I'm, I'm always say I'm a very lucky person, and I'm so blessing. Uh, just happen to be my career and my family. It's come together. Yeah. Together. <laughs> it's also my family. And my family is also my career. So I, I, have, I have made my career and uh, family is like unite together. Mm. So mm. that's why sometimes I also cannot differentiate is family or career or career <laughs> or family. <laughs> yeah. so I am mm. already enjoying this kind of lifestyle. Uh, lifestyle for the past uh, 20, 20 over years. <laughs> so mm. uh, I still remember before I, I start this uh, career and family become one, uh, I am, I was a beauty salon owner. I operate my own beauty salon. So that time I facing the same thing because my husband is a corporate uh, um, uh, professional, you know, and his time and my time is always uh, different because you need to go to work. And I operate my own beauty salon. And uh, when come to weekend, my salon will be more busy. <laughs> and mm. he will be like uh, not working, you know. So mm. I have this dream. Wow, if one day uh, I can have a, I can work together with my husband. How nice, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah. I have this dream. After I mm. get married and then I see this kind of thing. Because maybe I'm a, 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 a type of a home very homely type. Uh. I, I like mm. to like stick to my family uh, uh, together, uh, very close like that one, you know. Mm -hmm. So and also another thing is uh, when come to a problem facing challenging, you know. So when I sometimes I see my husband got problem and then uh, some uh, uh, challenging in uh, his career, which I feel helpless because I cannot help him. Mm. Uh, because he's mm. in this professional uh, background and I'm in the beauty background. So, so it's totally, we have a totally different lifestyle and we didn't have children. This is the point. <laughs> we don't have a children, you know. Yeah. 
And uh, I also have a dream. How nice if one day I can help my husband if he got any problem or uh, he's facing any any uh, uh, problem, challenging, then I can come in to support him or, or to give him some advice or, or maybe I can understand, at least I can understand what is the problem that he is facing, you know. So it just happened to be 20, 20 over years ago after mm. I operated for my beauty salon for I think uh, about, uh, about 10 years. So this platform come in, it's Elkin mm. Global. So it yeah. come in and here we go. After one year, I stopped my beauty salon. I go full time, come into Elkin. And also after that, uh, my career get better and better in this platform. And after that, my husband, my dream come true. And also that time, because it's also during crisis in 1999, uh, it's also it's a crisis, economic crisis. So that time, uh, because my, my income is also so much uh, improved, in this Elkham Global and uh, we both discuss and we make a decision so my husband come in to become my business mm. partner in this Wow, that's a big big step for him to come out from his professional career to join you Joanne that is something that I really respect you know because it's never easy to convince a man to join the wife into the same business right? Yeah. It's fantastic yeah, how do you do that? Well, maybe I think maybe this is uh, all uh, about my dream because maybe mm. my dream is very strong and also mm. this uh, desire is very strong. It's already implanted in my, mm. my in my life. So maybe maybe this one make uh, this the situation is really is come true. I can say uh, it's really my dream come true. So we've been uh, in this industry for the past 20 over years. <laughs> uh, okay, let me okay. Show you some photo that is. Yeah. yeah. Here, here my uh, family in uh, this Elkin. So mm. uh, uh, you see, all this is my team member, my team leader. Mm. So we, we will have like, they are like my children because I don't have my own <laughs> children. So I treat them like my children. So we have mm. Of um, activity also, <laughs> we have activity. This one is uh, we are, we are go to uh, Bali. We have a very mm. enjoy time in uh, this Bali, uh, and also uh, I also have a beauty event. You see, oh, it's like my children. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to 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 understand about beauty because I always have the passion. I feel mm. that beauty is a very important thing in life, especially for women. So I always have a beauty event and then I will bring them together. Uh, so we, we will have a very enjoy uh, event to know, to understand, to enlighten, how to become more beautiful, you know. <laughs> That's why we yeah, yeah. also have this uh, spa. We go to spa together, mm. we enjoy mm. this uh, uh, relaxing time together, mm. you see? They are mm. really like my family, you know? So, yeah. we also have... Amazing. Uh, yeah, we also have some time uh, discussion about how to, how to uh, improve our career. We have our discussion and we are so lucky because uh, in this Elkham Global, we have a lot of these uh, uh, venue for us to really have mm. our wonderful time and also a luxury time. This one is mm. in our, um, uh, this called Le Pond. It's also owned by our chairman. Uh, it's a Western restaurant, which is uh, our famous uh, place to, to uh, have our discussion and also have a nice uh, food as well. And sometimes, we will also go to uh, different places like this one. We will enjoy, <laughs> you see? Uh, like wow. Uh, always, my husband, I can tell you, I am, I'm so lucky. My husband since uh, my birthday in 21 years old until mm. today, every year, he will give me a surprise birthday. 
So they wow. last year, every year I have a surprise birthday from him. And then I know Elton already. And he will get my team leader together to really every year make me cry. Uh, uh, mm. a, keep crying. <laughs> joyful, joyful tears. Because every time also I get uh, cheated by him. Uh, <laughs> after that, oh, it's a surprise birthday. Oh. <laughs> Another uh, celebration in uh, this um, uh, passionate is also owned by our chairman. Uh, Elton mm. Global Chairman. Mm -hmm. So it's also a very nice uh, restaurant. So we always have our celebration in this place. You see, that's why I say I already make my my life, career, and also actually career and family is like come together in one. <laughs> Yeah, that's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. You can combine career and family together, you know. And they are all your team leaders, are all your sisters and your brothers, you know. It's a beautiful, beautiful unity, actually. Yeah, because Elkin uh, always teach us about our family. Come together mm. is like a, a family. And also, yeah. we have this culture called heart to heart. Then that's why all of us from a stranger, and become so close and become like uh, so uh, maybe I think it's also my my uh, bring up from my mom on uh, family uh, mm. culture and Got also it. with a kind of like uh, treat people like a family member our chairman is mm. also like that our chairman also mm. treat us like family member you know so mm. actually mm. this uh, surprise birthday uh, my chairman is also there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so this okay. is all about the heart to heart mm. uh, because mm. we promote the heart to heart culture. So, uh, and I am also having uh, this uh, family is my own family, my mother, my elder sister, mm. my younger sister, mm. and we also have our wonderful time uh, off and on. You know, because uh, mm. for me, I am really a home homely type. Uh. I am very. Mm. Uh, Priority for me, a uh, family time is very important. So I also mm. have a very wonderful. Uh, my family have a very very close. Uh, because you see, my mom, all oh, the girls. Ah, <laughs> uh, you have a beautiful family. You have all sisters, is it? Yeah. All sisters in your family. A uh, five of us. <laughs> Five of you, all oh, sisters, all the fairies, all the princess. <laughs> yeah, we are so close. So sometimes uh, uh, each and everyone will gather for a uh, gathering. Uh, so yeah. We have a really wonderful time. So that's why yeah. I mean, Elkin. Elkin is also uh, something like a family. So here it make me stay and also it make me like uh, so passionate and I uh, am now with this platform for the past 20 over years. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> you got a beautiful family as well. Yeah, how blessed. Yeah, so that's why I said today, uh, we have uh, this, uh, your story and my story is also a balancing in career and also a family. Just that uh, mm. some people maybe can have the family and career combined together, but some, you cannot combine your family and your career together, but you still can, like Tatin Jenner, still can manage it uh, uh, so well and balance it so well. So this is what our purpose today, to have this talk show and hope uh, our talk show today can give you some value and also some enlightenment, how you can choose to become a, a, a woman to balance your career and also your family. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Joanne, for, uh, for allowing me to share uh, my journey as well. Yeah, I hope that uh, the audience will have some takeaway from what we have shared at the same time. Yes, okay. <laughs> so today, our sharing will be uh, end here. And hopefully, you can uh, uh, subscribe or also drop us a, a message or let us know what else you need uh, to have uh, for the topic, you know. We will definitely respond to what you request or you suggest, you know, or you recommend. So hopefully we will see you more 
in our yeah. platform here. So have a nice okay. day and see you yeah. next week. Okay, see you next week. Have a nice uh, weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.